Hello everyone. I am getting my camera positioned in a good spot. If you are just tuning in, please go ahead and grab yourself a piece of paper and some water. Let me see how this looks. Mm -mm. I still. Is this still working? Yes, it is. All right, so go ahead and grab a piece of paper and some water, uh, also a pen. We're gonna do a couple things with with uh, writing on paper. All right. So I'm gonna start in about another minute. I have Melina here with me. Hi, Melina. All right, 30 more seconds and we'll start. So like I said, if you haven't already, please grab some water, uh, a, pe a pen, and a piece of paper. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started here. Um, so first to set the mood for tonight, uh, I want us to relax into our breath. So let's just close our eyes for a brief moment. Place our hands on our knees or in our lap. Taking a deep inhale in through the nose. Exhaling out the mouth. Deep inhale through the nose. Exhaling out the mouth. Last deep inhale, you're going to hold for 10 seconds. Deep inhale in. Exhaling out the mouth. Breathing normally, still keeping the eyes closed for a brief moment. Begin scanning your body from the top of the head all the way down to the feet. Letting go of the day. Letting go of where you have to be after you leave here, after you complete the, the live stream. Simply focusing on the body. Little by little, beginning to pay attention to the breath as you inhale and exhale out the nose. And let's go ahead and open our channel, our circuit for the body, from up above and below. So begin to place your focus and attention on the top of the head, the crown. And in your mind, begin visualizing either a door, a flower, a portal, beginning to open at the top of the head. And flowing through is the divine wisdom source energy flowing in through the body going all the way through the top of the head all the way down to the feet filling your entire body with that energy and then bringing your attention and your awareness to the root the base of the spine visualizing the same thing either a flower a portal a door beginning to emerge and the Earth's energy, Pachamama, beginning to come up in through the spine, filling your entire body with that grounding energy, feeling that safety, the mother's warmth, filling the entire body, connecting with the source energy, creating a circuit with the body, a computer circuit. Once complete, take a deep inhale in through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Breathing normally. And when you're ready, slowly opening your eyes. Alright. So, this discussion is going to be based on 
certain dreams that you may have given up or things that you've been procrastinating on, things that you've been pushing off and making excuses to do other things that would better occupy your time. So if you already have your paper and your pen, what I want you to do is write down three things that you've been wanting to do but you haven't done. So maybe it's starting a new hobby, maybe it's learning a new uh, learning a new thing, learning how to hula hoop or whatever it is, learning how to fire spin, whatever that is for you. Go ahead and write those three things down. And I'm going to give you about a minute or two to write those three things. So in the meantime, I am going to play some tank drum music for you to relax you so that you can write those things down. One more minute. So now that you've written those three things down on a piece of paper, I want you to make another column, put a line going down, and write down the different things that you can come up with as to why you haven't done them. What excuses have you been putting? Has it money, time, uh, getting there, car, emotions coming up? Whatever it is, go ahead and make that other column and put that there. Put all those different things that have been coming up. I would recommend maybe like two for each one, just to keep it minimal. And then after this, you can go into it deeper if you want. So go ahead and do that now. I'm going to give you about a minute. Twenty seconds. Okay. So, whatever the reason that you put on that column, every single thing that you are procrastinating on. All of it's based out of fear. So it doesn't matter what you wrote in that column, it's all based out of fear. When you start understanding that there's only two things that it can be created from, either uh, the emotion of love, which you're, you're empowering yourself, or fear, which you're, um, you're disempowering yourself, you're limiting yourself, because you believe yourself to be lesser or less deserving of what that thing is that you've been procrastinating on for whatever reason. I actually was, um, uh, I'm not going to mention who, but um, I was working with someone and uh, I had them do a mind map. And um, in that mind map, a lot of things came up. And the mind map is laying out all the things you've been wanting to do and laying out exactly how, uh, what you're going to do for it. Like amplifying the energy because you begin to create it and you manifest it. And that's the way that you manifest things is you, you visualize it, you write it on paper. Because when you write stuff on paper, in my opinion, you're actually casting spells. You're, you're 
that's why if you keep a, a list of things that you want to do, it's a lot easier to, to work with. Um, if you start keeping track of your finances and writing it on paper, uh, it's a lot easier to work with. And, and for me, I've been doing that and a lot more abundance has been coming through just because I'm keeping track of what my finances are and writing it down on paper and then next to it, writing down how much I want to make. So that's just an example of how important writing is. Um, so when you wrote that down on the piece of paper, reflect for a moment and see what emotions were coming up when you were doing this. Was it a feeling of unworthiness? Was it uh, uh, being afraid of owning your power, like being afraid of the responsibility of, of actually doing that? Reflect for a moment. Go ahead and just close your eyes and reflect on this. I'm going to give you another a minute or two on this one, okay? So reflect on all those different emotions as you were writing down the excuses on the column of paper as to why you haven't been doing those three things that you've been procrastinating on, okay? It's very important to label the emotion. Because you then acknowledge that emotion. And when you acknowledge the emotion, the emotion begins to dissipate. Wherever you are, take a deep inhale in through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. And breathe normally. And go ahead and open your eyes. So now that you've potentially have labeled the emotion and you know where it's coming from, that's the direction you have to start going in healing that aspect. And how do you heal that? Um, I've learned this from Kevin Walton and I'm part of the Light Beings Community Core Group. So the practice that we do is we do a thing called mirror, uh, mirror work or mirror exercise, and this is how you do it. So once you've labeled the emotion and you, you labeled the version of yourself that has been wanting your attention, because emotions are like little children aspects of yourself. So you have all these little versions of yourself. You have sad David, angry David, uh, jealous David, insecure David, um, happy David. Joyous David. They're all little children versions of you. Just like if you ever seen that movie, um, Inside... What is it? Do you know what it's called? What's the movie called? Inside Out or whatever? I don't know. It was an an a computer animated movie that had like the different emotions. So imagine a bunch of those representing you. So when an emotion wants your attention, what is it going to do? It's going to allow you to feel it. And if you don't feel it, it's going to think that, oh, wow, you don't actually care about me. You don't love me. So it's going to continue to act up, just like a child would. It wants your attention. It wants your love. So what we do is you stare at yourself in front of a mirror. I would recommend starting with five minutes, setting a timer on your phone. And when you do this, look into your eyes in the mirror. At first, you may seem uh, feel uncomfortable. You may start to laugh. You may start to giggle. Some people may start to cry all out because uh, when you do that, you're actually facing yourself and you're giving love to yourself. So it, for some of you, it may be very powerful and uh, very eye-opening. Um, so after you get past, past the uncomfortability and you're staring into your eyes, um, I would recommend start speaking out loud to yourself and addressing that version of yourself, the emotion, uh, personally. Like, uh, for example... Uh, Recently, I felt insecurity within myself, so I would do, I would look in front of the mirror, which I haven't done it yet. Uh, I would look in front of the mirror, and I would start talking like this. Hi, David. Hi, insecure David. I'm sorry I haven't been giving love to you, and I'm sorry I haven't been paying attention to you. But now I recognize you, and I have identified you. I'm sorry if you felt like you weren't loved. I love you. You don't have to act up anymore. I acknowledge you. I'm sorry for ever thinking the story outside of myself was true and that I was incomplete to begin with. So have a deep conversation with yourself 
when you're addressing this emotion, like talk to it as if it was right there with you, and it is. It's listening to you. <laughs> My kitty cat wants to say hi. So that's a very important technique to utilize for yourself, the mirror work. Um, and then you can increase it to 10 minutes uh, or however, many, however long you want to do it. So now that you've identified that emotion, we're going to do uh, a water meditation. So I hope you have your water out um, and we're going to place intention into it, which the intention is going to be out of those three things that you wrote down that you haven't done. The intention that I would like for you to put in it is to do one of those three things. So placing the intention into the water, I'm, I'm going to guide you through it, that when you drink this water, it's going to talk to the water in your body and allow the water in your body to vibrate at the frequency of which you have, you have already done that thing, which is essential in order to manifest. You have to align your frequency to that state of already having done it already believing that you can do it and then you can actually create it you can manifest it um, okay so go ahead and grab your water and place one hand below the cup and one hand above the cup and go ahead and close your eyes take a deep inhale into the nose exhaling out the mouth Grounding yourself to the present moment, deep inhale through the nose. Exhaling out the mouth. Last deep inhale, holding for 10 seconds, deep inhale in. Exhaling out the mouth. Breathing normally. Begin placing your focus and attention in the center of the mind where the brain is located. All of your attention goes there. No longer thinking about the past, about relationships, about other things. No longer thinking about where you have to be after you leave here. Simply placing your focus and attention in the space where your brain is. All of your awareness goes there. All of your focus goes there. And as you're focusing your spot, your awareness on that spot, in your mind, using the imagination that you've been given, the God gift that you've been given, begin visualizing a beautiful white ball of light in the center of the mind. Maybe the size of a golf ball. Take a deep inhale in through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Breathing normally, placing your focus back on the ball of light if you've lost sight of it. Every inhale you take, visualizing it expand a little bit. Every exhale, you visualizing it contract back to its original size. What you're creating right now is called a thought form. It is a manifestation of a thought. So what we're going to do is we're going to program this thought form this energetic ball, this chi ball, so that when it touches the energy of the water, it will program the water to be that. So to do so, it's very simple. I want you to have chosen one of those three things that you wrote down and begin visualizing yourself already being in that moment, already experiencing it as it's happening, as it's finally complete, that last stage of you completing it and seeing how happy you are. Look at the joy that's in your face of accomplishing that, of completing that task. Feel how happy you are in that moment. Finally, after so much work that you put into it, it's complete. And even go take it a step further. After you see yourself completing that, see yourself the next day. See how joyous you are, how fulfilled you are. And follow that emotion, that happiness, that joy. And automatically as you're following this in your mind, it's being programmed into that ball of light, that emotion, that intention.
Good. Now take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Breathing normally. Begin to place your awareness back on the ball of light. Now that it's programmed with the intention and the emotion of already accomplishing it, begin visualizing that ball of light moving down the neck and following it with your awareness until it flows into the chest. Pausing at the chest for a moment. Allowing yourself to feel any subtle sensations, any vibrations, any tingly sensations, warmth or coldness. as all of your awareness and attention goes to that spot. And now either choosing the left arm or the right arm, begin visualizing that ball of light moving through the shoulder, down through the upper arm, down to the lower arm. until it's sitting in the palm of your hand. Placing all of your focus and awareness on the palm of your hand, on that ball of light, that chi ball, the energetic ball that you created with that specific intention. And now in your mind, begin visualizing it moving into the cup of water itself, merging with the energy of the water, programming that water. until it's no longer visible in your mind that chi ball is completely dissipated into the water itself take a deep inhale into the nose exhale out the mouth breathing normally slowly opening your eyes and as you do, looking down towards the cup of water, acknowledging this element, this element of emotion, of flow, not getting in the way of your own growth and resisting. This element teaches us how to face our emotions, how to be one with our emotions. And acknowledging this water, that this is an aspect of you since you are water. And out loud, since you're in the comfort of your own home. Repeat these words as if you were to say it to a lover, but you're saying it to the water itself. And simply stating, Thank you, water. I love you, water. And taking a deep inhale as you're looking at the water itself. Exhale out the mouth. Breathing normally. Now having completed this ritual, drinking the contents, but as you do, place your awareness and attention on how the liquid is flowing down the neck into the stomach, being very mindful and being very present with how it's flowing through. You can do so now. Once complete, placing the cup on the table or desk, wherever you are, closing your eyes for a moment, placing your hands on your knees or in your lap, whatever is comfortable for you, and allow the vibration of that water to be communicating, begin communicating with the water inside your body. Taking a deep inhale into the nose. Exhaling out the mouth. Breathing normally, still keeping the eyes closed. Begin to focus all of your awareness and attention to your breath. Following the flow of air flowing into the nose. And following it coming back out either the mouth or the nose. Continue to place your awareness and attention there. If your mind wanders or if your focus loses it.
And now I want you to begin placing your focus and attention on your skin. Maybe the skin of your arms, the forearms. Noticing any sensation as you're focusing on that spot. And now begin to focus on the space just outside the skin. Seeing if you can notice a difference, a temperature change. Or any change at all. Take a deep inhale into the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Breathing normally. As you're in this peaceful, relaxed state, we're going to do one more exercise before we do the guided meditation. So as you're in your posture, still keeping the eyes closed, whatever position you're in, if you're sitting upright, if you're sitting cross-legged, I want you to begin creating a second version of yourself. Exactly how you look. The clothes that you're wearing. But this version of yourself is standing right next to you. So create that in your imagination. To the best of your ability. A second version of yourself standing right next to you. And as you're doing this. See if you can begin to place your perception through the eyes of that version. Witnessing yourself sitting down with your eyes closed. Witnessing yourself breathing. And as you're placing your perception and awareness through the eyes of this projection, Walk around the room, walk around where you are, looking at yourself from different angles, looking at yourself from the front, the left, the right, and looking at how your breath is as you're inhaling and exhaling. And you can begin to witness your thoughts as they flow through into that physical body. You can begin to witness your posture of the physical body. Now begin to, wherever you are in that second projection that you created, see that projection begin to sit, sit back down in the position that your physical body is in, reconnecting with the physical body but now with a greater sense of awareness that you can witness yourself in that way. And you can be more mindful of the thoughts that are flowing through as your awareness is back into the physical body. Take a deep inhale into the nose. Exhaling out the mouth. Breathing normally. Little by little, you can begin to open your eyes once more. <clears throat> okay. So, now we're going to go into <coughs> the guided meditation. So, I'm going to guide you on a little journey to witness something very special about yourself. And, um, so go ahead and get into a comfortable position. We're going to be here for about 30 minutes. Uh, and so, it'll be accompanied by sound healing and Melina, the awesome massage therapist, uh, with uh, her vocals, she's going to do some uh, like angelic tones for us. Okay, So finding a comfortable position for yourself for the next 30 minutes, either laying down or sitting upright. Um, begin to close your eyes. Take a deep inhale in through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Deep inhale through the nose. 
Quando exhala the mouth. Last deep inhale, hold for 10 seconds. Exhale out the mouth. Being mindful of the breath. Begin recreating your environment before you closed your eyes. Using your imagination the best ability that you can. Remembering the textures of the walls. Remembering what you were wearing before you closed your eyes. by little as you're recreating this in your mind. The textures of the walls begin to disappear. The textures of the floor begin to disappear. And it is just a white room that you're sitting in. the center of that white room. Seeing your physical body in that center. And there are four sides to this room. Each side has a door. So when you're in this room, go ahead and begin to stand up inside that room. Seeing yourself step out of the physical body. Your physical body is still staying in the center. While you go on an adventure through the mind. body in this room, seeing how peaceful you are in this moment, giving thanks to your physical body for allowing you to experience what you've been experiencing in your life. For the sensation of touch, the sensation of taste, sight, sound, emotions, how beautiful these emotions are, even in the toughest times, appreciating each emotion like a delicacy. So go ahead and begin to witness these four doors in this room. There are three doors of those four that each door represents one of those things that you wrote down on that piece of paper of things that you've been wanting to accomplish but you have not yet. that is on the outside of that door so you know which door corresponds to which dream. And then there is one last door. This is back into your current reality that you're in. 
the one where you're not following the dream. The one where you tell yourself you're not good enough. You're not worthy enough. The one that you tell yourself it's too difficult to do, it's impossible to do. So we're going to take a journey. Into one of those three doors where you see your dream manifested. And then the other door where you see the dream as you're currently living in it. First, I want you to take a journey and walk over towards the door of the reality of yourself not pursuing these dreams, these things that you've been procrastinating on. And begin going ahead and open the door. And go ahead and step through the door. Knowing that your physical body will be safe. The door closes behind you. And all you see is darkness for a moment. But little by little you begin to see images appear. And those images slowly turn to movies. And then those movies begin to turn to a reality. And you're now witnessing yourself. Doing the same thing that you've been doing. Not wanting to change. Not wanting to give up a certain habit because it's been comfortable for you. Observe this version of yourself. See if you can pay attention to the emotion that they're feeling. Witness their daily life. Follow them around. Noticing their thought patterns. Not wanting to change. And keep playing that thought process out. Visualize this happening. Maybe you begin to visualize a different day than waking up in the morning, doing the same routine, constantly thinking about those things that they haven't done, that they haven't taken action on for whatever reason they're giving themselves. Because of the fear that they have of owning their power. The fear that they have of acknowledging themselves. The fear that they have of not wanting to love themselves. Of not wanting to create. Of feeling like they're not worthy enough to receive. A new door begins to emerge, leading back to that white room. Begin opening that door, leaving that reality. Stepping in through the door, 
closing the door behind you now in that white room with those other three doors remaining. Each door representing one of those dreams that you've been wanting to do. Living in that reality of already accomplishing that dream. Each door representing how the version of you would be. So choose one of those three doors. Stand right in front of it for a moment. Make sure that's a door that you want to witness. Looking back towards your physical body in the center of that white room, knowing that this room is of healing, of love, providing energetic healing for the body while you go ahead and venture into the next reality. Now that you've made your choice of which door you're gonna stand in front of and go through, it doesn't mean that you're not able to go to the other doors or create those realities. It just means in this brief meditation, you will witness just one. So begin to slowly open that door. Stepping in through the door. Closing the door behind you. You're in a space of darkness for a moment. Little by little, you begin to see images. These images begin to turn into movies, moving objects. And these images from movies begin to turn into a reality all around you. And you're beginning to witness a reality of yourself of already accomplishing that dream that you wrote down on that paper. Follow yourself around in your daily life of that version of yourself. See how happy they are for stepping it up, for facing those fears that they had. Recognizing that those fears that you currently have are not within this version of yourself. This version of themselves feel worthy. This version of themselves has begun to step into that unconditional love. Knowing that fear is just showing them the direction of which to go. They're living their lives without anything holding them back. Continue to follow yourself in this space being mindful of the emotions that that version of yourself is feeling. And continue following them. Maybe creating another day. Seeing them live in that abundance. back if you've lost it, your focus back to visualizing yourself, seeing yourself in that reality of accomplishing that dream already, how amazing that feels, following yourself.
focus back to the visualization if your mind wanders. And slowly, you begin to recognize a door emerging again, leading back to your physical body in that white room. You're beginning to open the door slowly. Stepping into the door, into that white room where your physical body is. And walk over towards that physical body for a moment. Witnessing yourself, like we did in the very beginning. Acknowledging the physical body, thanking it for the experience. The experience of this three-dimensional world we live in. Begin to see yourself sitting down in the same position that the physical body is in, in that room. Reintegrating with the physical body. Now being back into the physical body, witnessing the physical body stand up in that white room. Walking over towards that door that you chose to look into, the one where your dream was completed. Open that door. Begin to walk in through that door. The door closes behind you. You're now aligning, aligning yourself to the vibration of the reality where this dream is being manifested, it's already happened. So the dark space begins to turn into images. You begin to see images of yourself sitting down in whatever you're in, a desk, a chair, laying down on the bed that you're in, witnessing yourself in that spot before you closed your eyes. But now that you've stepped into that door, that reality, you've now aligned yourself to that dream. You're already Witnessing yourself sitting down in that spot, see that physical body of yourself beginning to sit down in the same position that you're in, completely integrating with this space, this reality, this dimension, where that dream is finally accomplished. And the only thing you're doing at this point is letting it come to you without resistance.
So bringing all of your attention and focus back to your physical body. Beginning to feel the sensation of your skin. Take a deep inhale into the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Breathing normally. And for the next seven minutes, just keep your eyes closed. Focus on your breath. There's nothing else that you have to do. Just allow yourself to sink into that deep, relaxed state even further, listening to the tones of the drum. No longer my voice. I will begin to remain quiet for the next seven minutes. Do so now.
Take a deep inhale into the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Deep inhale into the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Last deep inhale, you're going to hold for 10 seconds. Deep inhale in. Exhale out the mouth. Still keeping the eyes closed, breathing normally. We're going to conclude this live stream with three solid ohms. So when you ohm, ensure that you vibrate your body with the vibration of the ohm itself. And the reason we do this is the water in your body, when vibrations are played to it, when words are said to it, when music is played to it, it responds. And the word Om, or the enunciation of it, is the vibration of the universe. So you're vibrating your body to the vibration of the universe, so that you're in flow. You're not in resistance to yourself. So take a deep inhale into the nose. Exhale out the mouth. On the next deep inhale, we'll begin OM together. Deep inhale in. prayer hands to your heart center, raising them to your forehead and saying out loud or in your mind, I see you, raising them above the crown, stating I understand you, and then bringing them back down towards the heart, and saying this as if you were to say it to a lover, but directing it to yourself, I love you. The light in me honors and acknowledges the light in you. Thank you and namaste.